definitely. It's like to have a productive relationship with it where, I mean, the whole point that we came into the physical is that we want the contrast. We want to launch rockets of desire and expand this universe. Like we want that. And that only happens through seeing what we don't want. And that lets us give birth to knowing what we do want. So it's like, how long are you spending in that process of just looking at what you don't want? How, how quickly can you jump to what clarity is this giving birth to? Mm -hmm. You know, when I look at war for a really extreme example, you want peace more specifically and more powerfully and deeper and more personally than you've ever wanted it before. And so it's like, are you hating on the war or are you wanting peace? Because those are two very different things. Mm -hmm. And so this is, this is productive relationship. Like how, how can you take what happened? Like this negative thing that came up or this emotional hit that you took and be like, okay, so what is this showing me? What do I actually want? What is this helping me to realize? And moving into that space, it's productive now because now you're putting your energy, you're spending your precious life force energy towards what you want and driving more energy into that. And I mean, I, I feel like we've both like worked with law of attraction and just energy enough to see that like, it's all just a reflection <laughs> Of what we're doing on the inside. So it's powerful to realize. And I think also back to your point about like things coming up and coming out, coming to light around systems and influential people and our leaders and governments and things like that. It's like some of us have already withdrawn our power from the system and put it back inside of us. There are a lot who have not. There are a lot of people who still have faith in these structures and in these institutions. And because of that, they're, they're keeping tradition alive and they're continuing these sometimes toxic cycles that like, no, that is toxic. And it's like faith can be a, such a powerful thing to like, let, let go of like little misdemeanor type offenses because I have such faith in the overall institution. And it's like, to really get people to see that like your power belongs inside of you. Sometimes like those institutions have to be burnt to the fucking ground. Yeah. And that's yeah. where we are. The U S Pluto return Pluto promises a Phoenix rising from the ashes of the old after it's burned to the ground. So I feel like this is what that is, is like for those who are still giving away their power, they're being shown that that thing that you gave your power to is not as trustworthy and reliable as if you would hang on to it yourself mm -hmm. and put it somewhere where it's like truly sustainable and you always have access to it. It's in you where it belongs. Yeah. I agree with that. Our power of discernment and free will and choosing where our focus and intention goes and our energy will follow because our energy, we all have our energetic field, our energetic body. Like it's, it's really powerful. Yeah. And we mm -hmm. really only like, I, don't know, I remember being told this a million times growing up, like, worry about yourself, <laughs> you know, like, first and foremost. Yeah. Where's my energy going? What am I thinking about? Right. And then see how that influences, like, the energy of the people around you and what they're thinking about. And yeah, yeah it's, it just starts, it all always will start inside. Mm -hmm.